dear friends i want to speak a few thing about being happy and the state of happiness because all of us are essentially looking for happiness and being happy if you ask this question to any neuropsychologist he will give you a very complex answer because scientifically happiness is correlated strongly with your self esteem fulfillment of your purpose and many many other things but two things are certainly sure about happiness one is that the people with a strong sense of purpose are always very happy in last two decades several scientific studies have been made on how people feel happy and scientists have unanimously agreed in general strongly religious people again i repeat the people with strong religious conviction whom we call a religious conservative they are on average a lot happier compared to religious liberals or in general liberals when happiness is measured scientifically now this being said and this being well understood by science through several let's say thousands of research papers you may ask me then why i am against religion even when i know that strong religious conviction actually makes the people happier here comes the question let analyze this science behind what is the science behind happiness and science behind happiness is having a strong purpose in your life we are not looking for happiness but we are looking for this answer who am i why i am born into this world and what is the purpose of my life and sometime as most of the religious people like to think whether my existence of the earth is a temporal existence or after life i have some existence now if you look for this answer in religion in order to have a purpose in your life you are returned with the answer you are son of god purpose of your life is to serve the purpose laid by god's manual which can be bible quran or anything and that's it i mean this is without any scientific justification but still it gives you happiness because by believing in some kind of absolute you develop a strong sense of purpose and that gives you happiness which i won't deny but think these things if you can develop a strong sense of purpose in your life or my life following the evolutionary biology or ethics of evolutionary biology i believe we will do even better than religion because this will be more scientific just thinks who am i well if you follow biology i am a simple biological existence actually scientifically every human being has three layer of existence one is informative existence which is basically his dna code which is undestructible which pass on from his father to his sons to all stuff another is his very biological physical existence which is definitely destructible and another is basically non material mind consciousness which is even a debatable topic whether we have a non material existence of the mind but still it may or may not have it but anyhow bottom line is in the past in ancient time people didn't have the knowledge of genetics or the fact that we are the manifestation of genetic codes but they understood that a human being must have some kind of undestructible definition of being otherwise you cannot install a strong sense of purpose and that's why in bhagavad gita they brought the concept of atman which is undestructible existence of human being and now we know that our informative existence which is basically the dna codes they are undestructible because 
from father to me from my to my son the difference between those genetic codes in 1 in 10 to the power 10 or something in 1 in 10 to the power 9 which is almost the same genetic code we pass on and in between two generations even after having mutation the difference is very low so scientifically you don't need to think about them and indeed you do have an undestructible existence in your genetic codes and biologically if you look at yourself every time you are talking about your purpose your purpose is basically to continue that genetic code from father to son and that's what is becoming the greatest biological purpose now you may tell me that if I define that as a biological purpose essentially I become very selfish and I don't become happy because then I'll think only of my son and my kid and my genes and, and, and nothing more else and, and but the question is that is not true either because my son or your son cannot survive alone they have to survive in a society they have to survive in a political structure that secure him with a good food good medical benefit and uh, those are the essential thing for the survival so the way our evolution happened in last millions of years it is extremely clear as a human being not only we think about the genetic existence of our own we also think about a genetic group that is you know the people with the similar genetic pool we want to survive together so in a sense if you think that your purpose is to raise the kid your purpose is for your kids and their well-being you will automatically figure out you have to also work for a society for a state which can give him a very good food security a very good energy security a very good healthcare security because without those he will not survive well or your future genetic pool will not survive well so this is well understood but think of this if you are answering this question through religion as a purpose of God son of God and all sort of nonsense that we keep hearing about essentially the whole world will lead to a conflict because different religion has a different world view not only that you will not take a sense of responsibility as much as it is true the religious people are happy that much it is also true most of the criminals have a strong belief in God because they feel that mortal life or the mortal punishment is nothing because they serve the purpose of God they are not punishable by the God and this is a very vague thing I understand many of you apologetic uh, religious people might refute me on this point but the essential fact is that's what is happening that's the reason we see that some of the religious people who are basically being convicted in Europe or in India or in many other place even if they are strongly religious they are basically criminals so anyhow the bottom line is if you define your purpose through evolutionary biology that it is your duty to raise kid and to offer him a society with strong food and energy and healthcare security you automatically come to conclusion that it is essential for we human being to redefine our purpose with the outlook of modern science instead of going back into medieval religious texts I mean come on guys they did what they could have done given their knowledge by that time but with the fact that science has given you so much of wealth of knowledge it is high time to redefine our philosophy which will be conforming to the modern scientific ideals. Thanks.